An implied in fact contract is an agreement that's implied from the facts and circumstances. If an implied in fact contract exists, an aggrieved party may recover the value of the goods or services provided under a theory of quantum merit. In the 1981 case Martin v. Little, Brown and Company, the Pennsylvania Superior Court considered whether an implied in fact contract was created when one party voluntarily provided information to another party. On September 28, 1967, law student James Martin sent a letter to Little, Brown and Company advising that portions of the book How to Buy Stocks had been plagiarized by the authors of the book Planning Your Financial Future. In the letter, Martin offered to provide his copy of Planning Your Financial Future, in which he highlighted the plagiarized passages with references to the copied pages from How to Buy Stocks. Roughly one month later, Little sent Martin a letter inviting him to send his copy of Planning Your Financial Future, which Martin did. After sending his copy of the book, Martin inquired about Little's investigation but didn't receive a response. Eventually, after learning that Little was pursuing a copyright infringement claim, Martin demanded compensation for his services. Following the demand, Little denied that it had a contract with Martin or that it was obligated to pay him for his work in bringing the copyright infringement to its attention. Nonetheless, Little sent Martin a check for $200, which Martin retained but never cashed. Subsequently, Martin sued Little in the Pennsylvania Court of Common Pleas for breach of contract, seeking one-third of what Little recovered in its copyright infringement case. Specifically, Martin argued that an implied contract was formed based on the circumstances and that he was entitled to payment. In response, Little filed a demur, or motion to dismiss, which the Court of Common Pleas sustained. Martin then appealed to the Pennsylvania Superior Court. 